Okay, guys, welcome to Order of Operations Examples. Yes, I have a lot of fun when I do this, so please enjoy it. It's pretty amazing. Um, I'm going to go through a whole lot of operation uh, examples of how to apply bod mass to a series of problems. You've got easy ones ranging all the way from pretty simple, and then they start to get a little bit harder when you start involving sub brackets. So uh, feel free to pause, rewind, and have a look at any examples that you would like. Okay, example one. Got negative four minus three, negative three times negative two. Okay, so what we're looking at here, we remember that we need to move from the left towards the right. Brackets is the first thing we're paying attention to. Is there anything within brackets that we need to work out? We'll scroll from the left. Ooh, whoops, I just moved the whole thing, sorry. From the left to the right. We see we've got this negative 2 in brackets over here, but it doesn't matter because it's already been worked out. There's nothing that we need to do with that. So we can leave that and move on. Orders. Don't have any orders that we need to do because we have no power of or square root in this one. That's fine. Division. Don't have any division. Multiplication. We start on the left and we see here we do have a multiplication sign. So this is what we need to start working on. And what that is saying is we've got 3 to the left of that negative 3 to be more particular because when we're multiplying and dividing we really need to pay attention to our signs and we're multiplying that, multiplying that by whatever's on the other side of the multiplication sign which is negative 2 here so that's the first thing I need to do I'm not touching the 4 so I'm going to leave that in there and then I'm saying negative 3 multiplied by negative 2 negative 3 multiplied by negative 2 I know that 3 times 2 is 6 and a negative plus multiplied by a negative is a positive, so I can plus 6. Negative 4 plus 6, use your number line guys, it's 2. We start in the negatives, as we add 6, we move towards the positives. Pretty simple. Second example we have here, quite similar. Again, brackets from the left to the right, that's cool, that's already been worked out. That's fine, we don't actually need to do anything with those brackets. By the way, brackets will start to make sense when we start to look at some of the other examples. Next thing that we've got going on here, orders, not nah, we're cool with that. Division, not nah, we're cool with that. Multiplication, we have a multiplication sign. To the left of my multiplication sign it is a 7. What do I look for? I look for its value. Is it a positive or a negative? I've worked out it's a negative because it's got a sign in front of it. That's the first thing you need to look for. What's on the other side of my multiplication sign? I've got a 2. In particular, a negative 2. 7 multiplied by 2. 7 ones are 7, 7 twos are 14. Yeah, I know it's 14. What else do I know? I've got a negative sign and another negative sign. 2 negatives equal positive. I keep the 2 in there because I'm not dealing with that yet. Plus positive 14 because I have 2 negatives. 2 plus 14, 16. It's really not hard stuff, guys. Let's move on to the next one. Nothing in the brackets, though. Negative 2 is just chilling out there by itself. So we don't have to worry about him for the moment because I don't actually need to perform some. Brackets will start to make sense in the next few examples when I actually have to do something. So, again, left to right, as I've always been saying, we now need to have a look for orders. Don't have any of them. B, O, D, division, nah, multiplication. There's my multiplication sign. I have a 7, a negative 7 in particular on one side. I have a 2, negative 2 in particular on that side. So, negative 7 multiplied by negative 2, positive 14. What am I left with? I've got this guy out, I've got that guy out, I'm left with 2. Okay, 2 plus 14, 16. Super easy. Really common mistake to make. Okay, next example. We've got a bit more stuff going on here, particularly with our brackets. So, bod mass moving left to right. Where are we going to start first? B brackets, that's it. So let's move from the left to the right. I see we've got these little brackets happening over here, which is lots of fun. We've got the negative 5. Now, we're actually going to need to do something here. What are we going to need to do? We're going to need to deal with these brackets straight off. What am I doing? I'm mul brackets mean multiplication. Hope we've gone through that. Brackets mean multiplication, guys. Whenever you see anything in brackets, it means it's multiplied by whatever's in front of it. 
got a positive here. We're going to multiply a positive by a negative. When we're multiplying, a positive and a negative equals a negative. Okay, so let's write this out. 2, negative 3, multiplied by 2. And what have I discovered this is? A negative multiplied by a positive is a negative. There we go. So we can move on. Now, what are we up to? We're up to multiplication. So again, we move left to right. Multiplication. What have I got? I've got it here. I've got my multiplication sign here. And what have I got in front of my multiplication sign? I've got a 3. In particular, I've got a negative 3. Make sure you pay attention to the signs. I'm multiplying negative 3 by 2. What type of 2? Ha! <laughs> it's a positive 2. Of course it is, because I super, super, duper care about my signs. How do I know it's a positive 2? There's no signs in front of it to indicate it's a negative. Negative 3 multiplied by positive 2. Negative multiplied by positive, negative. 3 multiplied by 2, 6. And minus 5. So, what's going on here? What am I going to do? 2, subtract 6 subtract 5. We move left to right. 2 minus 6, negative 4, negative 5. Okay, why am I doing this? Why am I writing this down? I need to write down every step to make sure I don't make a mistake. Negative 4, subtract 5, negative 9. Now, why do I waste my time writing out all these steps? In case I make a mistake. I make a mistake here. Oh, sorry, I'm using the same pen. I make a mistake here and translate that to, I don't know, negative 3, negative 6. If I keep this working out here and I keep carry through my mistake, there's a chance I'll still get some marks. Now, if you are stuck on this point here that negative 4 subtract 5 is negative 9, try grabbing a number plane. You can download them from the internet. If you need one, come and see me and I will help you out with finding one. So, next example. What have we got going on here? Whoa! we got a whole lot of stuff going on here. So, what do we know we start with? We start with the brackets. Now, I've got a whole lot of brackets. I've got brackets within brackets. So, I scroll left to right and see if I can work out what I start with first. Really, when we've got multiple brackets, we try and get these guys first, the sub brackets. So the brackets that are within our brackets, that's where we start at the very, very, very basic. So what have we got? We have negative 9 multiplied by negative 2. So let's write out my dandy brackets again. I move left to right, so negative 6, I'm not touching that yet. Negative 9 multiplied by negative 2. 9 multiplied by 2, 18. Neg. Neg. Negative plus multiplied by negative is a positive. So I'm going positive 18. Now, I've gotten rid of the 2 here, and I got, I've gotten rid of that. So, what have I... Oh, that bracket there, that guy's gone as well. So I close my bracket. I divide it by negative 4. Cool. I move left to right. Again, with this row here, moving left to right. Okay, so I've got something in this bracket here. Sorry I've put that arrow there, that's a bit annoying. I start to the left and I see I've got negative 6 plus 18. I need to work that out first. What's in that bracket? All of that, all of this, what this thing here is saying is all of this inside this bracket here is divided by all of this that's in this bracket here. So let's chill out with this guy first and see if we can work him out. So negative 6 plus 18. Go on the number line. Negative 6 to get to 6 is 0. So my answer is negative 6 plus 18 is 12. <coughs> oh, sorry. Negative 6 plus 18 is 12. Divided by what's in this bracket? Negative 4. Okay. 12 divided by negative 4. When I divide or multiply two numbers together, if I've got two negatives or two positives, my answer is positive. If I've got a positive like I do here and a negative, my answer is always going to be a what? Oh, negative. You're right. So 12 divided by negative 4, negative 3.
And look, can I say something? When you actually look at the working out, it's not that tricky. It's really not. This guy here, he looks scary. When you go for the examples, they're really not. Okay, let's start again. So, next example here. Again, we move left to right. We deal with our brackets first. So, we work out this bracket. Negative 3 plus 7. So, we're going to keep this in brackets because we love brackets. Is 4. So, we go 4. We keep everything else the same and we move on to the next row. Cool beans. Okay, now we need to deal with the brackets. So, these particular brackets here. So we move left to right. That guy's cool. Brackets mean multiplication. There's nothing before it, so we might leave it for the moment. This. This means multiplication. So in here you can tell I've put a multiply, we've put a multiply sign. You guys should get used to the fact that if there's a negative 2 in front of a bracket, that means multiplication already. That's actually why I left it out. So we've got, ooh, that's a bit dodgy. I've just kind of got rid of that. So we've got We'll leave the 4 in here because I'm not caring about that guy for the moment. We've got negative 2 multiplied by negative 3. Negative 2 multiplied by negative 3. Is that positive 6? No, my friends. We have a negative multiplied by a negative. So that will equate to positive 6. And look what that turns out to be. It's just 4 plus 6. 10. See? See? It's not actually that easy. You fall it's not actually that hard. It is that easy. You follow Bob Mass, you will be fine.